e de lei. Please. Please. Don't touch me today. Please. I have chosen you, but if you dare resist me, I shall kill your only son. That seed of the mortal man did where I killed his father.
so much. You're everything to me. You mean the world to me. You're my life, my joy and my hope. You're everything that I have. And if any evil was to befall you, I will lay my life down for you. I will. I'll protect you. I'll protect you. And if I die, if I die trying, I know that you're going to continue, right? Yes, Mama. You will. father was a very good man. He loved me. He loved me so much. No man, no man could ever love me that way. No man can ever love me that way the way he did love me. When he died. And he killed him. I killed him because he couldn't stand another man touching me. And I warned your father. I told him before he came to my home where he wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> Mama, who killed my father? God play, okay? Hey, this girl, you will not kill me. Hmm? They're dreaming about you all the time. All I do now is dream about you. I must get close to this girl. I must, I must love her. Sweep her off her feet. I could be. I could pull her. Carry her to the bed. That 
that is the kind of love I want. A love that will create confusion to me. In fact, I will like that kind of confusion. Your love is going to kill me, Akoboma. It's going to make me mad. It's going to create confusion for me. But if I get you, I will solve all the problems. <coughs> Let me get your meat first. I could pay a wash in my way, a little bit more to I could pay what? This is important to me. A little bit more to I could pay a wash. Bye bye, neighbor. Anybody home? Anybody home? Bye, 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 neighbor. Hey, oh yeah. Ofungo, Ofungo. How are you, fine boy? How are you? How's your mother? Bye, 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 neighbor. I am a friend. I came as a friend. Why are you being hostile? You see, I'm a friend that you're going to like. I want to make you my friend. Hmm? I brought you something nice. Call your mother for me. My mother is sleeping. Hey. Okay, go on. Mama! Mama! What are you doing outside? Huh? Uh, Hey, Akube. How are you? Uh, I brought you this. I went uh, a hunting. And, uh, actually, I needed a bigger meat for you. But uh, unfortunately, it looks like all the big meats went on exile. So this one straight there in front of my nozzle. So I put uh, to pull the trigger. But just manage it. I see. I've already prepared it. I mean, it's almost uh, done. All you need to do is uh, sit down and then enjoy it with your son. Thank you very much. We have meat. I went earlier to the market today and I stocked my house with meat. Mama. So we don't need it. Mama, this is bush meat. The taste is different. That's right, my boy. Shut up. Okay? Don't you ever speak when Ellis is speaking again. Do you understand me? Yes, Mama. Akupa, are you, are you rejecting it? We don't need your meat. There are so many other widows in this village. Give them. Asama, I am not caretaker to all the widows in this village. I just want to be close. I want to be caretaker to you. I brought this thing with all my heart, with open mind. But since you have rejected it, I don't have any other option but to eat it myself. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Obansi, but we won't go with you. But I prefer to be called Obansi because of my prowess in hunting. Are you a stranger in this village? No, far from it. Uh, but I was not around when you were married into this village. I also was not around when uh, your husband died, like I was told. So, did you hear how he died? Uh, and, uh, I was uh, told he fell down from the palm tree. I don't know how true it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I rekindled old wound. I'm sorry. Just leave. Don't ever come close to me again. Just leave. Okay. Go in. Beautiful one. Can I stay a while and talk with you? She says, leave me alone. He says, can I stay a little to talk to you? He doesn't know why she says, leave me alone. Hmm. He's stubborn. It's your beauty that makes me stubborn. In fact, each time I look at you, 
I feel something come over me. I don't know what it is. I feel like crying, honestly. Why? Well, because uh, there is nothing else I could be doing at that moment. I just gaze at you and anything I try to do to win you, I don't know. So why don't you just leave me alone so that you would stop thinking of crying anytime you see me? Why don't you just leave me alone? You know, today I had a daydream about you and uh, I was singing this traditional tune and you were dancing and my God, the way you were gyrating, the way you were swinging your waist, I just felt like grabbing that waist and holding it for my, myself forever. It was fantastic. Beauty, take this meat from me. Please. I can't wait to open out. Take it inside. Give it to my son. It's for him. I still do not know how to bring myself to say no to him anytime he asks for anything. Make him your friend. Teach him how to be strong, brave, and fearless of human, animals, and even spirits. I will. Thank you. Over one. Over one. You see, I brought you. Probably be, be, be a male boy who, who, who just want to eat an arm robber. Probably with, with, with an actual gun. No boy should be surrounded. Get him now, one. Why am I for him? No boy should be surrounded. No boy should run away. For what? Back again. I'm going to confront you. Who am I this? Let me confront, confront the person. Ah! I'm out of my. How can I be around you? Who is that? Who is in my house? If you're not afraid, come on, let me see you. Don't hide. If you're a spirit or if you're a man and you're not afraid, come out where I'm going to see you. Nearby Shebu. You want to frighten me? Come out. 
I challenge you to come out. Come out, you are not afraid. Come and challenge me, man to man. Come and challenge you, what we should have wagon. Where you be here? Challenge your boy, shall we? Don't hide. I don't make love to a woman who is asleep. Confess me. Come out. Be brave enough to make yourself visible. Come out. I'm a butcher. We should not work. I'm not afraid of any spirit or any man. Come out and face me. I do not make love to a woman who is asleep. Come out if you're brave. Me. Be you spirit, be you man. Come. How? Now they have sent a to me. No more. They have sent a to me. No more. I'm at your service. Whatever you want me to do, let me find out that man that is after me. I'm so impatient. No man is after you. No woman is after you. A spirit, I say, a spirit is after you. Spirit? But I have not wronged the gods in any way. Why would a spirit be after me? Ask the woman you love. She will tell you. The woman I love? No. No, Akupe. Oh. Do you love another woman? Akupe. No. Akupe has all the answers. Ilono. Ilono.
has it come to bother you yet? So it's true. So you are aware? Yes. I'm aware. And I knew that it was only going to be a matter of time before he came bothering you. Who is he? He's a god. He's a deity. He's a spirit that says I am his wife. And you're just telling me as a matter of fact, just like that. I've seen too many things. Too many things in this lifetime. Too many things. Just listen to me. Please. There is nothing he hasn't done to me. He caused the death of my late husband. He made him fall from a palm tree. Just one week before my husband died, he appeared to me, saying to me that no mortal man was ever going to sleep with me or else they would die. And he just, he just took him away like that. I was one month pregnant with a fumer. Or someone didn't even see his child. He didn't even see his child. He says, where the gods have been, no human can ever, ever go. He is vicious. He is a merciful. Relentless! He's wicked! He's a merciful! He's a merciful! A merciful! Who's that? Who's that? Is he wounded? No, no, he's fine. He's fine. Oh my God. You pulled the trigger. What? Ah. Oh God. God! You'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. Don't, don't give up. It's okay. Yeah, so it's so this gone. bullet came from the direction of Akupe's house. And I must find out who shot that gun. God. Please, let's take him out of this. Where? Let's take him out. Let's take him out. Where? Let's take him out. Hey! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't go now. It's not out. <laughs> oh my God! Oh God! <laughs> oh God! Don't worry, don't worry. Let's take him to the house. Let's take him to the house. Where? Let's take him to the house. Where? Let's take him to the house. Where? Where? Let's take him to the house. Where? 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 It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Please. No, you never go near guns again. Gina, Gina, the gun was out from here. The gun was out from here. Huh? What is it? It was just an accident. Yes, it was fired from here. The boy was just fiddling with the, with the yes. gun and it went off. No harm meant. It was just an accident. Ha! No harm meant. No harm meant. What kind of harm will be worse than occur for my own brother? The Baba, who was hit on the stomach. Who oh, for the Baba? But the bullet fell from his gun. Hey! Hey! And you say no harm meant. Come see. Come see. Who oh, for it? Who oh, for it? Who fired the gun? Oh, 
This was the gun that killed Okafo. This is the gun that killed Okafo, my brother. Did you say this boy fired the gun? Answer me! I fired the gun. But it was an accident. Help! <laughs> Agame! Yes. 
is here she did. Is it because of what she be? Are they going to do something bad to me? But I was the one who shot the gun, not him. Yes, I know. And he's taking all the blames for you. Because he knows how much that I love you. He knows how much I love you and I adore you. And he doesn't want you to suffer one bit. He doesn't even want you to suffer the bad words they're going to say. No. Igwe has handed the move on to the police. And he's suffering so much. He's suffering so much because of you and I. God. God, please. For the sake of my sufferings and that of my little husband that got caught up in this. Please. Please save him. Please save him. I'm not dying this, please. God, please. Please save my little innocent man. God, please save him. Save him. God, please. He did not do anything wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. He did was to just love me. That's what he did. That's all. God, please. I thought that you were somewhere up there yourself. Do you people want an out of court settlement? The man he has already spent a month in detention. If we charge him to court, it is a case of manslaughter and not murder. But what will both of you gain from this? Eh? What happened has happened. Your dead brother cannot come back from the dead. You see, what we normally do in such cases is not to charge the case to court, but to advise the parties to settle amicably. You see, he could give some money to cover the burial expenses and give some cash sum to the dead relatives, you know, who see him as their breadwinner. You see, he did not just wake up in the morning, loaded his gun with the intent of killing your brother. That was not what happened. He just kept the gun by the side of the wall and went in to see his beloved. And the gun fell down and in the process killed your brother accidentally. It was purely an accident. In this case, I don't know what you say about what I've told you. Do you still want the police to charge the case to court? Or do you want to settle it amicably? If it is taken to court, he could go to prison. Remember, the judge may see reasons to free him with caution. Please me, I cannot stand. I'm so fat. Oh, sit down, sit down. I'm sure you must be very hungry. Sit down. Should I, should I bring out the food here? You know it's not a time for you to eat here, right? Mm. You can eat here. I'm so tired. And I'm eating in the cell. Eh? Just take it. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. This energy is Every day that I came by and brought you food, and I left. I always wondered if the food got to you or they shared it within themselves. No. They give me the food each time you bring the food. I enjoy it. In fact, they will be their conscience there. But that's not even what matters to me. You know what kept me staying in that cell and surviving? Your presence. Each time you come, I could be that's the way I feel each time you come. It makes me think that somebody cares. And I'm happy. You took all those blames for my son. The least I could do was feed you. Please eat. Please. Let me ask you. 
do you still feel nothing for me? You know, because with this year incident coming, I'm beginning to feel affection for you more than ever before. You know, I begin to feel so close to you. Do you know what? Just eat, don't worry. We'll talk about that some other time. Just eat first, huh? Please eat. You look very worn out. Does this still come to you? Who? Ijele. You know he was the one who caused that gun to go off. Don't, don't talk about him now, please. Just eat your food. Hmm. Please. I'm going to take everything Shh. Shh. Please, if you don't want to eat, just give it to me. Let's go home and eat it there, okay? Akupe. I will lose almost everything I have. Because I know they are going to take everything. Who will? Okafo's relatives. You know, they said I will have to pay, apart from paying all the expenses for the burial, I will still have to give them 500000 as compensation. That means I have to sell land, I have to sell my property, I have to sell almost everything. In any case, that was why I was uh, agreed, and that was why I, I was released from prison from the cell. And it's going to be very hard to meet that their demand. Very hard. Hmm. Let's go. When we get to the. What do you mean by you have not found anybody to buy all you are willing to sell to finance the burial of our son whom you killed and the money 500,000 naira for the family look I will ostracize you if you do not do what you are told to do and you will become the enemy to the entire village go and find this money or I will deal with you the way you will regret. You should be happy that this thing is ending this easy way. You should. Do not allow me to show you what fire can do to the ears of the rat. I give you one market week to bring this money and provide everything for the burial of our brother Okafo. Or I let it out. I let the word out of my mouth to the entire community that you have been ostracized and that whoever that interacts with you will suffer the same fate. Now, get out of my sight. Ijele. Thank you. I'm getting ready to ostracize me, so I'm getting ready to leave. I mean, what's the sense of staying around if there's nobody that wants to talk to me? I don't have any friends. What's, what, what am I staying for? If nobody wants to talk to you, <coughs> my son and I will talk to you. If nobody wants to be your friend, my son and I will be your friends. This is why I appreciate your concern very, very much, but you see, I like to carry my own troubles on my neck, not on other people's neck. Every day, your troubles break my heart. Every day I wake up, I feel so much pain because you're going through a lot because of my son and I. All I'm asking is that you, you just tell me how I can help, how I can make this a little easier for you. That's all I'm asking. 
Tell your spirit husband to leave me alone. Tell him to leave me alone. Don't call him my husband. Because I have not given him to his part. Why is he doing this? Tell him to free you so that you can be available to mortal men. Let him free you. Let him go to goddesses. He doesn't what? listen to anybody. He doesn't listen to anybody. What is wrong with him? I am sure from the realm he came, there are a lot of goddesses. There are the princess goddesses. We have goddess of the river. We have goddess of the sea. Even goddess of beauty. Goddess of love. So why has he, is he saying that he cannot get hold of any of these goddesses? And he has to descend so low as to struggle over mortal ties with mortal men. Please. Please. Don't talk about him like that. Remember I told you he's a ruthless god. He has no mercy. I don't want him coming to you again for the second time. Please. No, leave this. I'm not afraid of him. What can he do that he hasn't done already? What? Are you hungry? I made a goosey soup at home. Just go out for like an hour, okay? And when I come back, I'll prepare food for you. It's for a good cause, believe me. Alright? Just endure. Fuck oh, come on, stop. Come on. Come on. Stop. Stop crying, it's okay. Listen to me, eh? Stop crying. When you grow up, I want you to be a strong man. I want you to be a man with depth. A man of blood and soul. I want you to feel this life like it's ought to be felt. I want you to feel the joy, the victories, the love, the happiness, the tears, the lessons, the pain, the death and also the death. Okay? He is a man of blood and soul. 
the man of brother soul as a man that thinks about others he considers others he has a good heart is a good man someone that has the interest of other people in their heart someone who stands for what he believes in no matter where his food or his meal is coming from and that's what I want you to be I don't want you to be the opposite a man of body and water he's not a good man he's not a loyal friend he's someone who betrays his friends okay a man a man of body and water is a bad man yes exactly what I have been trying to tell you a man of body and water is not a good man he's a bad person he's not a friend okay I want you to be a man of substance a man with a heart a man of blood and soul a man like Okwashi okay he has been facing too many things in this village because of you and I and all we have to do is stand by him and make him feel like he has a family and love. So what I'm going to do is just go out there and try to help him. Because they're going to decide his fate today. He has been of help to us. Just an hour, my son. Just an hour. I will come back and make you food. I promise. Please. for our son whose life is snuffed out by an act of carelessness and to serve as a lesson to every member of this community not to be careless in handling guns and other dangerous materials 
I hereby ostracize you for the period of seven years. You shall be like an evil forest in this village. Nobody will enter you, and you enter nobody. You see, we will not say to you, and you will not buy from us, and we will not buy from you. You will not fetch from our stream when somebody is still there. You are free to fetch, but not when anybody is there, it must be. Maybe in the midnight, when nobody is there again. Whoever interacts with you will suffer the same fate you are suffering now. Death is a strong thing. Those who take life must be punished strongly. I've heard you, Your Highness. Well, your words are as good as banishment itself. And I accept my fate. Amen. What is the essence of uh, staying in a community where I cannot commune with anybody? What is the essence of staying in a community where I cannot even say a bolachi or, you know, good morning to my neighbors? And I think I'd rather go to a place where I am not known. I cannot stay in an area where I cannot sell to anybody and I cannot buy from anybody. I'm a pariah. Even if I don't have friends, I will make birds my friends and the wind my counselor and the rivers my comforter. I'll go, Your Highness. I'll take my fate. Thank you. Thank you, indeed, Jesus. It's better.
she is from. Thank God we found you. What are you doing here? Mazi, my son and I have come to be with you. You cannot be with me. You cannot stay here with me. Look. I'm ostracized. If they see you here with me, definitely you will be ostracized too. And this little boy. Have you thought of the consequences of subjecting this boy at this tender age to this kind of suffering? No. You cannot stay here with me. I'll be fine. Honestly. You'll be fine. Yes. Here. You'll be fine here. With no friend to talk to. I'll be fine. No, you will not be fine. You will not be fine. I know exactly what will happen to you. You are just going to run mad. You will get so lonely. You will look for people to talk to. You won't see nobody. Eventually, you will start talking to the birds, to the trees, to, your, to whatever it is that you have. And you will go mad. And that's not what I want for you. I don't want that. My son, here, means everything to me. He means the whole world to me. I don't know if you know how much I love him. He's everything that I've ever, ever owned. This is the only thing I took away from my marriage to Sundu. And he's the gateway to my heart, which you have just touched and moved. So I cannot let you be here alone. It would just be very, <clears throat> very blind of you not to realize that I care about you. Akube, you haven't thought right. Anyway, I think you're tired from probably the journey. What? I will allow you to stay overnight. Probably when you wake in the morning, you will be in a better position to think and reason the consequences of what you're about to put yourself and this little boy through. Can I have some water for my son, please? Why not? Come. Why don't you heed to my warning? Why don't you leave this for me? Why do you want to stress yourself? 
Why don't you just answer my greeting first? I said good morning. Good morning. Smells good. <laughs> Smells so nice. Yeah, I'm not surprised coming from you. Are you not going to eat with me? No, I eat already. Now that things are the way they are, what's the way forward? Akube, I want to gather myself together first. Let me have a rest of mine first. I can trade. Something to give us money. Seven years is no joke to be alone. Us? Do you intend to stay on? Yes, I said us. And I'm staying. Ibe village is not the only village in the world. We can move away from here. Far away. Where the news of your ostracism has not reached. You are a hunter. You can hunt and farm. And I will trade. Life can be perfect again for us. Aren't you forgetting something? What? The spirit that loves you. Definitely is going to torment us. No. I didn't forget about him. Sometimes I like to. I like to pretend like he never exists. And I was a normal woman. So I planned my life independent of him. That's the only way I stay sane. Have you ever tried to fight back? To stand your ground? Fight him. Hmm? Yes. I have. When I nearly got married to Osondo, I went to a church. And the pastor prayed for us. He gave us a holy water and holy oil. He said everything was going to be okay. But the day that Osandu died, he used the oil and he used the water on his body and also on the rope that he used to climb the palm tree. While he was climbing halfway, the rope caught and he fell down to meet his death. And ever since, I have never seeked for help. Ovuma, <sighs> what is it? We have been observing the goings on here in this house for some days now. And we are sure that is living here with you. 
Akupe, you are a grown woman. Uh, nobody's going to stop you from doing whatever you want to do. Nobody. You have come here to live with Oban Sebwe in the fullness of your senses. Knowing fully well that this will earn you the anger of the community that ostracized Oban Sebwe. Knowing fully well again that this will earn you the fate Infant. he is suffering now. Because we said it. You see? It was announced to the whole community that Oban Siebwe has been ostracized. And whoever that will interact with him will suffer the same fate he is suffering now. You saw the road and you saw the bush. You chose to enter the bush. Akope, you are hereby ostracized for seven years. You and your son. Know you that you came to live here on your own. And we are not telling you to leave our place. We are not telling you to depart. That's it. But all we are saying that you have nothing to do with anybody here <clears throat> you should not have anything to do with us and again as you came here to live on your own from your own choice you decided to come and live here this is a big risk because a wild animal can come out from the bush and attack either one of you or two of you and the person dies the blood will not be asked no. for my people. The no. blood will be on that person's head. It will. So, you are here on your own. Anything that happens to you here is on your own. We have nothing to answer for you or after you. you I think we have you to go. go. You will. You will. Was it the right one? I chose the right choice. We will stay here together as a family. And whatever it is that we go through, we'll go through it as one. And the boy? I will raise my son. He's with us.
Why this, God? Why? Why are you hunting with a stick? Hakobi! What are you doing here? Well, well I can't, uh, I ran short of gunpowder and uh, nobody agreed to sell to me. I mean, you know the position. So, I have to concentrate on my traps and uh, see whether I can get a rabbit or even a rat with the stick. Our lives do not depend on hunting. I can trade. I can make money. Ofunwa will hawk Akara if I make it every morning. But then we will save money and we'll go to a village where nobody knows us and from there we will leave all those behind us. You don't seem to understand this, our position. Look, all of us are ostracized. You, Ofunwa, myself, we are all ostracized. Nobody is going to buy anything from you. Even if you fry the best of Akara and give it to him. They will not buy from Ofunwa, they will not buy from you. So, I guess we just have to take our feet like that and then die here. We will not die. We will survive. We can make it. I would go to a far village and I would buy beans, I would grind it, I would make it at home every single day and Ofuan will go and hawk it. I will come up with a plan. You know what? I like your determination. I love it. Well, even my trap couldn't catch a rat, not to talk of a rabbit. Let's go. Where's the Ofuan? Uh, 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 at home. And you left him there, no? Yeah, he's okay. I don't know exactly the situation where you are. I mean, you have had a problem with everything. Oh, God, I don't know.
you know, Ugebun. He seems to have left us alone. For a while now, he hasn't disturbed us. I might be. But that's the way he is. Sometimes he goes away for weeks. And just when I start to believe that he would never come back again, probably he had settled down in the spirit world, he just resurfaces. And he comes stronger. All I just want is to be happy. To love. To love you just the way you want me to love you. That's all I want. You know, this time I don't think he's coming back. I think he has left us alone. You understand what I'm saying? Now! <laughs> That's my ego. That's my Why are you looking away? Hmm? I'm shy. <laughs> That's ridiculous because it's supposed to be the other way around. Shyness comes before love making, not after. Well, it doesn't really matter whether I'm shy or not. I'm just very happy. I made love to a human being. It has been so long. Other times I just feel a presence come in and out of me. And God, it feels like that. You know, I'm happy too that it has left you. I refer to it as it because it's still a spirit, not a human being. And I wondered why you should come and uh, be looking for a mortal woman. If you want a mortal woman, then she will reincarnate and then come back to earth and they will begin to live. In any case, if he ever comes back to you again, I will show him that I have a way of dealing with spirit. Every spirit has an antidote. It's just a matter of getting the right DB. You understand? Because there's a saying that Ogudile, I chose DB Gwale. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. Don't worry, Fuma. We have money on Fuma. We have so much money. Oh god. Look. I might not have the money now. Okay? But as soon as I do, I will get you a big bicycle. A very big big bicycle, the one that ride in the city and you will ride it among the villagers. Do you understand me? You will ride it. <sighs> so now what do you want to eat? I want to eat rice. Rice. But I want to drink water first. Water? Fine. Then you have water my friends because you have made me so proud. You're like your father. I'm not 
What is this guy doing? Do you think like a man? Hey, hey, hey! Stop there! I said stop there! Stop there! Stop there! Abomination! Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait! This is a coupe son! The ostracized one! Come here! Look Come here, my friend! Who taught you these tricks at this age? That's what you say the time play. So you go for it. So, so they have told you to tell lies this thing. Eh? Mm. Oh. Come on, move. Come here. Come on, boy. Come here. It's a bad boy. Where is the mother of this boy? Where is the mother of this boy? We spared, him, we spared him just because he's a little boy. If not, we'd have given him the beating of his life. Imagine. What did he do? Can you imagine? We caught him relating like a boy, white dressed like a girl. Thank God for our curiosity. Yes. We know who he is. Your little trick has failed. Yes. But don't try it again, never. Or else you'll be sorry. What are you going to do if we try it next time? You, yes, I'm asking you, you. Yes, you tell me what you will do that you have not done already. You people say that nobody should talk to us. Are you nobodies? Here you are talking to us one on one. Have you not even failed in the laws of your own community? You should be ashamed. You should be ostracized yourself. Both you and your ego should be ostracized. You should be ashamed for punishing a mere boy, almost a suckling, whose mother dared to help a man who you unjustly punished. What impression do you think you're going to create in the minds of this boy? What impression? You tell me. You do not. You walk like zombies. You don't have your brain. Well, we don't have anyone with a, with a man who is, who is taboo. Yes. But I'm telling you, well, let's go. If anyone sees this boy 
selling Akara again in this village. Take out his tray and pour out the Akara in the bush. Yes. We'll deal with him. We must deal with him. Let's go. Imagine the tray the laws of this community. We deal with him. You don't even touch the tray because you have failed. We must deal with him. You have failed. You talk to me. In fact, if I report to you to the law of this very village, you people should be ostracized. Hobos, urchins. But why would he urinate in public? Why close to the market? Why not the bush? Is he jealous? Is he jealous? Is that your spirit husband? Who doesn't want anything good for us but pains? He is at work now. Maybe he was on leave or he traveled. Now he has come back with these tricks that will not work. Ijele, may you be cursed. May you never see and may you remain a restless spirit all through your life if you have any life to live in the land of spirits. Please, please, please. May you not get anything positive in the land of the spirit. Please. May you continue to rove and roam aimlessly. Shh, please, please, I beg of you, don't incur his wrath. Please. May you never get any spirit. Any female spirit, come. since we have decided to come and defy come. Come. the mortal women, come. because of a mortal woman, you descended so low. Come, please, come, please. No because come. your ties are itching you. You are not a spirit, Jelly. You are a spirit, the reed is off. Please. If you are a spirit, come and challenge me. It's a, no, no, no human challenges. Leave me, let me talk to Jelly. Just come, please. He has done more harm than any other spirit has done. He has done harm to even himself. He's rejected. He's a, you are rejected in the land of the spirit. If not, you will not come to mortal women. Go and find a, a goddess. If you are a good spirit, if you are a strong spirit. I think we should just move to a far village where nobody knows us. That way we'll be able to survive, buy and sell, do stuff for ourselves. Huh? Are you trying to control me? Are you trying to tell me what to do? Are you? Huh? No. No what? You have always listened to me. Listen to you for what? You are trying to tell me that I have no intelligence. I am empty. Why are you talking like this? You are even questioning me. 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 You what do you think I am? What do you think I am? You think I'm a fool? You think I don't know what I'm doing? Huh? You think I'm a fool? You think I'm a fool? I'm not a fool. You think I'm an idiot. What do you think I am? What do you think I am? Who 
avons un. Un coupé. Un coupé. Au fond, moi. Au fond, moi. À couper. What? What are you doing here? Hein? Why are you in the bush? À couper, what's wrong? Au fond, moi. Come, 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 honey, let's go home. What is the matter, Kuba? What is it? Akubi! Let me see. Because I cannot remember anything. I, but are you so sure I did this? Then what must have happened? Oh, and then, I'm sorry. Those are my clothes. What are you doing there? I'm talking to you. Chima. Hi. Oh, Bim. What are you doing with my clothes? This is not you. He has possessed you again. Please. Oh, Bim, please, we can pass through this. What are you doing with my clothes? Please. Don't let him overshadow you. What are you doing with my clothes? This is not you. What, <laughs> what are you doing with my clothes? <laughs> what are you doing with my clothes? That is not you. What are you doing? I'm <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Think you are man enough to fight me? You think you're man enough to fight me? You, you. I'm going to kill you, you swan. You, 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 you. You want to die?
I kill him. You don't need him. Come. Come to me, love. You can't, can't escape, escape me. You are my wife. I will destroy you and everyone that loves you if you keep resisting me. A knife cannot destroy me. In the basket? You can't harm me. Drop it! Don't come close to me. Don't drop it! I cannot let an innocent man, even in death, still be guilty. Agwashebe is innocent. He did not kill Okafo. He did not. My son did. He mistakenly fired the gun when he was playing with it. And Agwashebe just took the blame. Please, I beg of you, just give him a befitting bear. That's all he asks of you, just give him a befitting bear. Please. Such gallantry. So they still have uh, people who make sacrifices these days. He loved me. He loved my son. His only crime was love. His only crime was love. His only crime was love. Guards! Go and bring his blood here. We shall give him a befitting burial. In fact, a hero's burial. And we shall pardon the little boy and his mother. You see, faith has been cruel to them. Akupe, we know you as Osondo's widow. But we did not know this story because you did not tell us. I couldn't. I couldn't say anything. I didn't want anybody to brand me as a witch because I had a spirit husband. But I did tell the church. They knew about it. I later told Ugwanshiebe. After I told him, my spirit husband started attacking him. He caused us so much misfortune. So much misfortune until I hit him with a woman's kitchen pistol and destroyed him forever. Igwe. I think I'm free. I'm free. But of what use is my freedom? Of what use is my freedom? I hope I'm sure he's dead. It's alright, eh? It's 
It is indeed a sad day in the Ebenta community. We have lost a life in complicated circumstances. See how tall those things are. So you're going to come. No, just uh, the, wait. I'm going to show you. You know all the places to clear because it's uh, so bushy. Don't go. Come and show you places to cut. So beautiful. 